All right, let's start here. We have four different 177 air weapons. Let's start off with the P-17 by Beeman. This one is rated to fire a pellet, a standard blood pellet, at 410 feet per second. At 10 pumps, this uh, 1377 by Crossman is rated to fire a lead pellet at 600 feet per second. A little old, so the pressure is not there as there. It's more around 550. This is the Benjamin Titan NP. Uh, Benjamin owns Cross. Uh, Crossman owns Benjamin, so it's pretty much a Crossman, just a little fancier. And it is rated to fire an alloy pellet at 1,200 feet per second, and a lead pellet at around 1050. This is another Benjamin slash Crossman product. This is the Benjamin Jim Shockey Edition Steel Eagle, and it is rated to fire a pellet alloy pellet at 1400 feet per second lead pellet flies at more around 1250 you get about 200 feet per second uh, faster out of the uh, steel eagle than you do out of the titan all these i, I made a re recently i made a video featuring the hollow point pellet being fired out of the 2240 that i generously received from Asface Jr. and Art St. or Art Saint or Street. I don't know how he prefers to be called. But the 2240, and I was firing the what the pellets that came with it, which was the Crossman Premier Hollow Point pellets. And there wasn't much expansion, and there was you know the, the tests were were to see penetration and expansion in ballistics gel after before and after the modifications. The modifications are are meant to give it more power. Uh, and you know through speed so the higher velocity of the pellet the more expansion penetration it should get and I couldn't see much of a difference I only saw a very slight minute like tiny difference uh, almost insignificant and so I wanted to show the differences that speed make and I don't have a bunch of 22 caliber air pistols and rifles but I do have four different 177 and I'll be firing the Benjamin actually no I'll be firing the Crossman Premier hollow point pellet just like I did with the uh, 2240 but it'll be in 177 and I'll be shooting it at a block of ballistics gel so you can see the penetration and and uh, deformation of a pellet as you increase the velocity stay tuned Now, looking at these results, they might confuse you. So don't think about it as damage done. Like pen don't think about penetration. Think about damage done to the ballistic shell. So up there, at the very top, is the first pellet shot. Run roughly 400 feet per second. It went three and a half inches into the ballistic shell. Right there, the one that penetrated the furthest, clocking in about uh, 600 feet per second, close to it, a little less, is out of 1377 into the ballistic shell. And they're all the same pellet. Right there, with all that radical damage done, and the pellet not going that far, is the Titan, traveling roughly 1100 feet per second 110 1, uh, 1100 and then down here the one that went the least furthest is the the steel eagle traveling around 1300 to 1250 
1250 to 1300 feet per second and it completely flattened out and it went the, it went pretty much the least first when it comes to like penetration damage that uh, Titan went a little further and the damage but the sometimes the pellets or or even slugs get sucked back uh, with a vacuum as the air that gets that, that that pocket that got forced in there releases back out through the entrance so the uh, one that went the one that went 1200 feet per second or 11 10 10 50 to 11 uh, actually fractured it uh, it completely broke apart and uh, that hap that tends to happen sometimes sometimes it's just a, a small you know little kink in the uh, pellet that caught and made it break off peel off and sometimes your, your pellet is pretty well made and it stays together retains its weight it just flattens out like it did there so these two were, were only about you know 200 feet apart when it comes to speed so were the first two shots they were also about 200 feet 200 feet per second apart when it, come, when it came to speed so as you can see not much deformation in those two but when you increase the velocity you got less penetration but more damage so when I did the uh, test with the 2240 showing you the uh, penetration difference or damage difference uh, there was some feathering going on with that 2240 and that feathering told told me there was more upfront damage, more more energy released up front by that pellet. The FPS or, or uh, foot pounds of energy actually uh, was higher with the higher velocity. So when I attached the the uh, when I threw in the power valve, you got more penetration and a little more damage than you did out of the uh, stock model. And then when I threw in the extended barrel, and it increased the velocity. You got less penetration, but you got more upfront damage, and it's a hollow point pellet. Now there wasn't much of a difference in the shape of the pellet, but there was a small uh, change in the diameter of that cavity, the hollow point cavity. It opened up just a little bit, and that little bit catches more material to slow it down, but it also causes more upfront damage. So that's uh, I got I got a few personal questions from people that I know that watched my video and asking me hey you know why did it why didn't it go further if you said it, it increased the velocity it uh it should have caused more damage it should have gone it should have got it increased the penetration when you added the extended barrel well in a standard pellet like a wad cutter or a uh, round nose or a pointed nose pellet it would have increased the penetration but this isn't a, a uh, round nose or wad cutter or a, uh, a pointed pellet this is a hollow point pellet and it is meant to cause upfront damage. So the more you increase the velocity, the uh, some, usually the, the less penetration you get. And those 22 caliber pellets, they're going slower than these, this, with the exception of that first pellet that went this far. They're going slower and they, they only made it halfway to the block. They made it further. So these were going much faster they're, they're lighter they're faster uh, with the exception of that first one and that first one made it halfway no that's sorry that second one made it halfway and it was traveling at roughly 600 feet per second now the 2240 and the 1377 are very similar with the exception of the cat of the actual uh, size of the pellet uh, when it comes to energy being just being uh, used to propel that pellet they're pretty much the same if you threw in a uh, 22 caliber uh, what's it called barrel on that 1377 and 13 it turned it into a 1322 it would pretty much come out at the velocity of a stock 2240 uh, so it'll it'll roughly come out at 460 which is what the 1322 is rated for so it's using the same amount of energy pushing that pellet out but it's a heavier pellet a bigger pellet so it takes more energy to push it out at the same speed so if, since you're using the same amount of energy to push that same pressure to push that pellet out you're going to get less speed but the heavier pellet will cause more damage and that's why you saw that decreasing speed you got more penetration 
and hit this block and that hollow point pellet because it's going slower, less uh, energy to expand that pellet and catch the material causing more damage closer to the impact point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, share this with your friends. Sideways, go get some.